Good morning, my friends. This is Dr. Petronio Mello, a urologist, and today we are going to talk about a topic that arouses a lot of curiosity and, at the same time, raises many questions. How deep is the vagina? You may have heard guesses or even myths about the size of the vagina, but today I am going to clarify everything based on scientific information. And look, it may not be as deep as you imagine. So, stay with me until the end of this video to understand more about this topic. Before we begin, I ask you to leave your like, subscribe to the channel, and activate the bell to receive more content about health and sexuality. Let's go! Well, to begin with, it is important to understand that the vagina is an extremely adaptable structure. In general terms, the average depth of the vagina, when it is at rest, that is, without any sexual arousal, is about 7 to 10 centimeters. Yes, just that. Many people think that the vagina is much deeper, but in fact, most of the nerve endings responsible for pleasure are located in the outermost part, that is, in the first 5 centimeters. Now, during sexual arousal, the vagina undergoes changes. It lengthens and expands, especially in the upper part, which is close to the cervix. At this time, the depth can increase and reach approximately 12 or even 15 centimeters in some women. This happens because the body is preparing to better accommodate whatever may enter the vagina, be it the penis, an object, or even a medical examination, such as the use of a speculum during a pap smear. Another interesting point is that the vagina is not a rigid tube. It is made of muscular and elastic tissue, which means it has an incredible ability to adjust to whatever is being introduced. This is why, during childbirth, the vagina can expand to allow the baby to pass through, something that seems unimaginable when we think about the average size of the structure. But here's an important detail. The size of the vagina varies from woman to woman, just like any other characteristic of the human body. Some women have shorter vaginas, others a little longer, but the main point is that the size at rest does not define the vagina's ability to adapt. This is something that the body does naturally and efficiently. Now, you might be thinking, Doctor, what if the penis is longer than the depth of the vagina? This is a common concern, but in practice, the female body is designed to accommodate quite a few different sizes. During penetration, if the penis is longer than the depth of the vagina, it does not hurt or exceed the limit. Instead, it can press against the cervix, which is a sensitive structure, but usually without major discomfort, as long as the intercourse is consensual and the couple is comfortable. On the other hand, if there is pain during penetration, this deserves attention. Pain can be caused by several reasons, such as lack of lubrication, muscle tension, inflammation, or even emotional issues. In this case, it is important to talk to a gynecologist or even a therapist specialized in sexual health to identify the problem and find a solution. Another common question is, does the depth of the vagina change over time? The answer is yes, but not as significantly as some people think. Aging and events like childbirth can affect the elasticity and tone of the vagina, but this does not mean that it loses its functionality or that the depth changes drastically. In addition, there are treatments, exercises, and even modern technologies like vaginal lasers that can help improve tone and elasticity if this becomes a concern. And for those who are curious about female anatomy, it is worth noting that, in addition to the vagina, there are other important structures, such as the labia, the clitoris, and the cervix, which play fundamental roles in female health and pleasure. The clitoris, for example, is extremely sensitive and often more important for female pleasure than vaginal penetration itself. Therefore, understanding the entire anatomy is essential to have a more complete and respectful approach to female sexuality. If I could sum it up, I would say that the depth of the vagina is less important than its adaptability. It is a fantastic structure that adapts to the needs of the body and was designed to perform complex functions such as childbirth and sexual intercourse efficiently. So, if you had any doubts or myths about the size of the vagina, I hope this video helped to clarify them. Remember, every body is unique, and the most important thing is to understand how it works and take good care of it. If you liked the content, leave a like, share it with anyone who might be interested in this topic, and subscribe to the channel for more videos on health and sexuality. Thank you for watching this far. Take good care of yourself, respect your body, and if you have any questions or concerns, don't hesitate to seek medical advice. Until the next video, a big hug to everyone, and may God be with you.